Hey guys, today we're going to do a sponsored video by Mass Drop, and I'm going to make a wager with you guys about this box. So before we begin, uh, Mass Drop will have Shadows Over Innistrad booster boxes going live later this week. You can click on the link below. It's $90 a box on Mass Drop for a Shadows Over Innistrad booster box. That's probably the best price you can find online. The last box I paid for was 108 so it's a pretty good deal. But I'm going to make you a wager. If we pull an Avacyn, I will do a giveaway and give away Avacyn. Same with Arlen. So we pulled either, either of those two, I'll give just that one card away. So pretty much, let's see if that happens. Uh, I'll have a link to the landing page for Mass Drop where you can give them your email and then be notified when the Shadows Over Innistrad box does become live later this week. Again, $90 is pretty good. Definitely um, the lowest price I've seen online. So that will be in the description of the video, uh, right here in the bottom. Or just, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's pretty bad. Okay, we finally opened it. So the only two cards you guys should be worried about are Arlen and Avacyn. I'll put that little link for how much money we have accumulated. Uh, the Pro Tour is just over. Obviously, Avacyn was in the winning deck, so her price is pretty good. So let's go ahead and hope we pull an Avacyn. Let's see. I'm just going to go over the comments extremely fast and then focus. So, Golem, Drown Your Temple, Magnifying Glass, Foil Uncommon. Drown Your Temple, I don't, that, I guess I saw some play, not a tremendous amount of play, but it's probably not bulk anymore. A lot of these cards have spiked recently. The only cards that haven't spiked are the land base, which is always kind of strange. Tooth Collector, Dance with Devils, Wild Field, Slayer's Plate, Akira's Wits. So, yeah. Two packs down, and 30, 30 packs left to go. Dead weight is really, really good. I love that unlimited. Ever after, kindly stranger. So, <laughs> I guess we just have to keep going. Yeah, the Pro Tour was very interesting for many reasons. I do like the fact that eight different decks made the top eight by eight different very good players. We'll then stream Epony of the Drown Yard. And a ton of Planeswalkers saw play, Narset saw play, finally. I was really happy to see Seth Manfield's deck for Narset because that is the ideal deck for her. And so a blob. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These few, few packs have not been uh, the best this, but hopefully we can turn that around sometime soon. Mad Prophet, Brain in Jar, Foil Mountain. Oh, nice. Yeah, so. The top cards of this set, Soren actually saw some play too in Seth Manfield's deck. Uh, it actually seems very good. Nahari, I believe, was a one of in one of the top decks. For Boating Ruin and Arsonist. So our first land of the pack. What is the probability of Avacyn? So Avacyn is a mythic flip. Silver Strike, Pack Guardian, there's Nohari. So there is a Nohari. Now, people will say Nohari is not good, and I'll probably be one of those people. Uh, I, I just don't see Nohari being playable in Standard. Maybe in Modern, she's probably better in Modern than she is in Standard. I want her to be good, but it's just really hard. Tamiyo's Journal. We have not gotten a rare or mythic flip card yet, which is probably a good sign. And Cult of Waxing Moon. Oh, I love this card. 
Okay, Thing in Ice, which has dropped in price tremendously. I believe it's $7 right now, but it's a good speculation. I do love this card a lot after rotation when vampires become more of a deck. I don't think I got any of those vampire uncommons. This card saw some play in the white green human deck that eventually won the whole tournament. So some commons are decent enough. Welcome in Fold, Uninvited Geist. Yeah, the last couple packs were pretty good. TITI is, in my opinion, a very good card. It just needs to find a deck just like Narset. For every other deck, Sailor and Visitor. For every other deck, Narset is not going to work. But in the Seth Manfield, hey, everything's a Planeswalker deck. It does work. It's actually one of the better cards in that deck. Let's go to the Uncommons. Moonline Hunt. Compelling Rise from the Tide. Prize. Ooh, this card is extremely good and limited. The zombie decks, again, just didn't happen. It was kind of sad. I was looking forward to zombies and vampires and all those cool stuff again. So one mythic Nahari, one flip rare. I've been getting a lot of startle awake. Oh, the Githog monster. The Githog monster as our... This card has probably gone down significantly in price. Um, it did see play on the Pro Tour, just not on the top tables. It's by far the most popular EDH uh, commander right now, so worth speculating? Maybe. Okay. Anguish the Unmaking. Well, that's all play. So let me talk about Gitrog Monster. I think it's actually a very good speculation target. More people have made this EDH deck in my community than any other deck. Uh, people are super excited for it and they just love it. Um, Lightning Axe. Harness the Storm, Senseless Raids. So that's definitely a mythic that if you want to make an EDH deck, you probably would be better getting it right now than later. And, ooh, so this is a card we should talk about. Oh, and, okay, so that's, what is this? Oh, it's one of the flip cards. Crypto right is one of the best speculations. If you speculated on this card, you are doing very well. So it's one in a green enchantment. Creatures you control get tap it, add one color of any mana to your mana pool. Extremely strong ability. That is just definitely I underestimated it, but now it's where it should be price wise. That card saw play all over the place. Forgotten Creature, and yes. There's just a lot of random cards that I have just not seen before. <laughs> Clip Wings is pretty good. Griff Bloom, this is Boon, this is one of the better cards. Angel of Deliverance, ooh, Aberrant Researcher, this was a very good limited card. And Angel of Deliverance, whenever, I believe that's the intro pack. Cost as much as a Avacyn, so. <laughs> a Nohari, a Gitrog monster. Cryptorite, ooh. Definitely not the mythic that you want to see. I always pull this one and start awake. So hopefully, we're about halfway done. And I still feel pretty good about the pack. Fortified Village, Village Messenger also saw, saw some play. It's a 1-1 one, one of haste, and then if beginning of each upkeep, if no spells will cast last turn, it becomes a 2-2 two, two with Menace. Kind of reminds me of a goblin, that goblin dude from Origins. I, I play that goblin dude all the time, and he's pretty good. Confirms... Okay, Duskwatch Recruiter. This is, again, one of the stronger uncommons in this set. It's very good. One in a green, and then it flips over to this dude. It's just a very, very good card, and I, I see it being extremely strong. Nohari, 
three mythics left. We probably have one more mythic, if not a flip. Really hoping for a flip card. Bygone Bishop, a very interesting speculation. And the reason werewolves are so good and limited is just because there's so many of them as an extra card. There's uncommons. There, there's just so many good green extra flip cards compared to the other colors. I remember this card. This card was uh, the triple LSV <laughs> limited. I think he went two and one. He drafted two of these in pack one and then one of them in pack two and a foil Geist. Okay. I feel pretty good that we're going to get something kind of valuable in the last few packs. Ooh, Airy Interlude. And I'm going to give away Arlen, so Arlen, look out for another giveaway. It's not Princess Avacyn, but I have not pulled an Arlen at all. I've not pulled an Avacyn at all, so it's really nice to see Arlen. Obviously, Air. This was a very good pack. That was a very good pack. So yeah, like if you lasted for this long in the video, you know that there's a new giveaway. Which is good. Um, season Pass, yeah, let's talk about this card. This card looks like so much bulk, but apparently it's $10. And it's seen playing standard. <laughs> what? Oh man, that's crazy. So our last two packs have been very good. We've got an Arlen and we've got a Season Pass. This box has been true. It's been really, really 2D slaughtered. Ooh, I thought this was a... Kind of looks like a Draena. Ooh, it would also be great if we got Olivia. I know she's not worth very much anymore, but it would still be great because I do love Olivia. It does not look like Griff's Boon is probably one of the better sideboard cards. Flame Blade Angel. Uh, the intro, Angel. This is a very good pack. This has been, uh, this is a very good box. Obviously, you want to see Avacyn, but if you don't see Avacyn, this is pretty close. Devil's Playground. We have another card. It is Tamio's Journal, our foil rare. Um, I mean, let's, it's a legendary artifact. Investigate. Okay, so it's something that you investigate. The foil... Legendary Artifact, pick the brain from under the floorboard, and Uninvited Geist. We have six more packs. We poured an Arlen, which will be given away. I don't know if we can pull an Aviston, really. Double Flip Mythic seems kind of greedy. Ooh, this, not, oh, this kind of looks like a flip card, but it's not. Well, we got there. <laughs> it's West Vale Abbey. Um, yeah, still very good. Still a very strong card. I think outside of Avis and maybe Soren, we got all the money cards from the set. We got the rights, which was a card that dominated. Okay, no. Four more packs. How should we give Arlen away? Uh, leave a comment below. How should we give Arlen away? I do love Arlen quite a bit. Invocation of Saint. Oh, and we got a lot of foils. That's true. This box is heavy in foils. Let's see. Well, can we pull something amazing? Something epic to end? That's good. This is good. This card is worth like way more than it was worth when it came out. How many mythics do we have? Like five or six? We have pulled excellent. Burn from within, not great. Air of the last pack, and then we'll do a summary, and then we'll figure out how to give away our Lynn. Let's see. Mad Profit, Game Trail, I mean, it ended pretty strong. I would say this was a very good box. Uh, no Avacyn, but you can't always grab Avacyn. Can't always get Avacyn. And at least you guys get a card from this box. So we got Game Trail, Burn From Within, Hydra, which is a nice mythic, Foil, 
Westvale Abbey, which is a very, it's kind of like a mythic. Foil Cameo's Journal. Season Pass, which is also like a very good mythic. Surprisingly, the mythics in green were very good. This card, which we'll give away. And I guess another land is pretty good. Another mythic. Man, just the mythics keep, we have a lot of mythics. Oh, Crypto Right, which is pseudo mythic. And let's see, land, land, oh wow, this particular, we didn't get really good stuff, oh, this is pretty good. We didn't get good cards until like the end. Anguish, I'm making I guess is like decent, but one mythic, two mythics, three mythics, four mythics, five mythics, six mythics, wow, that's, this is a really good box. So I would like to thank MassDrop and I'll have the link to the email for $90. You can get a box like this. We'll have Avacyn, maybe, maybe not. We'll have an Arlen, maybe, maybe not. But overall, this box is incredible. And as promised, we'll give this Princess Arlen away. Anyway, bye guys.